Oh, so let me first of all tell you a little bit about me, very briefly. I have been a professional musician most of my life. Uh, I started, as you can hear from my accent, I actually come from England like Sandra. And my first job here was in St. Louis as assistant conductor of the St. Louis Symphony, which is a pretty prestigious start in this country. Um, I then came here and did a similar thing in San Jose and gradually evolved. I, I, taught, I had a youth orchestra of my own for, for many years and then I started doing, thinking that this was a bit stressful, all of this work and, and having to learn music all the time and standing up under, under the spotlight the whole time. So I went a little bit more into the management field and ran something called the Midsummer Mozart Festival, which some of you may know. Now, I've stopped doing that, same reason, stress. It's very stressful running an organization like that. So I have done the ultimate, the ultimate management skill. I've delegated my job completely away. <laughs> so I'm still on the board, um, I'm still involved, but I don't have to do any of that nitty gritty, dirty work anymore. So this leaves me time to do things like um, telling you about opera. I do do talks for the San Francisco Opera. I, every year they ask me to do one of the pre-performance talks. This year I'm doing um, the one in the summer for Showboat, uh, which is going to be interesting. I already talked about that in my last session of classes, so we won't be doing that. But this is the link. We do, uh, we uh, um, tell you about the, uh, the operas which are actually being performed at the San Francisco Opera. That's how this class came about. A little linkage between the opera and Sandra, and thus I came into the picture. And I, I, we all thought it was a wonderful idea to actually have a proper class so that you went into some depth about the operas which are about to be played at the Opera House. So you can not only um, get, come to the class, learn about the operas, and I have lots of fun clips too, um, usually from YouTube, so you'll have, have clips of different performances and different vintages, different eras, completely different interpretations, which makes it fun. Um, <clears throat> and then, if you get really interested, you can go and buy tickets and go and actually watch the operas. Actually, some of my uh, students in the last class were regular uh, opera goers, and so they already knew about that. But what I'm kind of hoping is that some new people will come to this class and will be inspired to want to go and see opera if they hadn't been that interested in it before. If you are interested and hadn't been going to the opera, maybe because it's so darn expensive, that could be it. We're also going to try and do something to help there. This year we've started earlier, which is excellent. Here we are in, um, starting in June, and we're going to be done with this class by July, which means that we, 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 you're going to have had the whole, the whole course well before the opera, series, opera season actually starts. This was a, 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 a plan. We did this on purpose so that you could then go and see the operas. What I am going to try and do is to finagle, would be the word that springs to mind entrance to some of the dress rehearsals. Um, I can, because I have a good relationship with the opera, I sometimes can manage to get uh, entrance to the dress rehearsals. And, and so if you can't pay $280 for a seat in the orchestra, you can come to the dress rehearsal for free. <laughs> um, you don't have to. Of course, there, there are much less expensive tickets than that, but that's, <coughs> that's unfortunately the sort of price for the, for the best seats there. So. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I, I made a hugely extensive list. There it is. Um, um, week one is going to be Norma. Week two is going to be Masked Ball by Verdi. Then uh, amalgamating two Puccini operas. We're doing Tosca and Bohème. And so I'm going to put those all into one class. Um, and then Cinderella, one of my favorites. Anybody here go to Met Live last week and see Cinderella? Good for you. Wasn't it great? It was wonderful. I thought it was wonderful and a very quirky, unusual, off-the-wall kind of production which worked. You know, when you have, when you have these very off-the-wall sort of out in left, 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 left field productions, sometimes you just think, why? I mean, wouldn't it be nice just to have them dressed up in their nice little 18th century clothes and standing, standing and going and singing like this? But actually, this was, this was, this was wonderfully inventive and creative. Great, great production, I thought, and wonderful, wonderful singing. Okay, Marriage of Figaro, and then the last lecture is going to be on the Trojans. And I especially left that to the end. A, because it's huge. It's, it's like the ring 
or one of the ring operas plus, because it's actually two operas together. And the reason <laughs> is that they asked me to do the talks for it next year. Um, hesitantly, they said, we didn't really, we, 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 this, is, this is not one that's going to be a lot of fun to prepare because it's huge. It's an, an amazing amount of work that I'm going to have to put in to do that talk. So you will be the beneficiaries of some of that work when, I, when, when we do, do a whole class on the Trojans by Berlioz. An interesting, not often um, performed opera, so that's going to be one to come to. Um, what else have I got to say? We have a lot of fun doing it. There's lots of questions and answers. It's a very informal class. I um, welcome people chatting. I mean, not chatting while I'm talking. How dare you? But at least asking questions and, and, and interaction. We're all for that. And it's actually a fun class. We, we have a lot of we have a good time, don't we? Looking at one of my ex members. Or I'm hoping hoping to be future members. Yeah, this stuff. Anyway, very good. That's about it. So hope to see you all. We're here. So it's very convenient. You haven't got to drive all the way out there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Wednesday. Very good. I'll be there. <laughs> Thanks a lot.